hey, thanks for inviting me again today, guys. You know, I, I, I thought you'd want to go interview, you know, the, the champion of the league, you know, not the measly old me. <laughs> but, you know, obviously, you knew who the real champion of this league is. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm glad you came to me. <laughs> because, because, <laughs> I lost my baby. <laughs> Come back to me, Dahlia. I don't care if I cried. I lost my trophy. It was all I had. <laughs> Got the footage. Got it. Anyways, as the producer was wanting me to say, it's fancy football time again. <laughs> Now, as a lot of you may already know, I was the champion of two seasons ago in our fantasy football league, the Confederacy of Collusion. Collusion being a key part of this league, apparently. And if a lot of you aren't aware, I should have been two-time champion, but, but, I was colluded out of the finals by this conniving team. But that's all right. It's all right. It's in the name of our league, so I shouldn't have thought any different of how the outcome was going to be. But this year, this year, or oh, oh, this year, I doubled down. I doubled down on the research. I doubled down on contacting the players, everything. You name it, I did it. And my team, oh, my team came together good. Oh, yeah. So instead of just talking about my process, because I already explained that in the previous interview you guys did for me, uh, what I'm going to do, actually, is they asked me to come here today and kind of break down my team for this year. Kind of kind of give you an analysis of why all of them are just the best at their field. I don't have my reading glasses on me, so this is going to be hard to read. So just bear with me, people, okay? Okay, open up this Espen, this Espen app here real quick so I can... So I can actually look at my team, you know. You know, they make it so hard these days with these apps and these contraptions that you have to find your fancy team. I remember when we just wrote it all down, you know. Okay, so anyways, here is my team for... Give me one second. So anyways... I can't keep up this charade. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, okay. I shaved my beard last year. This is just a, a, a fake one. Okay, I'm sorry. It hasn't gone back. I've been a mess, all right? I lost my baby. I need my trophy back. Anyways, they told me to stop crying. So I'm, I'm going to stop crying for you. Here's my team. First off, we're going to go to our starting quarterback. Now, I didn't draft who I wanted because I wanted my, my P. Mahomes. Mahomes was my man last year. I thought I was going to get him again. I didn't. I didn't get him this year, but that's fine. I took a new strategy this year for QBs. They weren't my priority. So this year, my starting quarterbacks are Phillip Rivers and Lamar Jackson. Now the thought behind this was, they're both solid choices for this year. I'm certain of it. Lamar, maybe, maybe an iffy choice, but you know, you know, he might have one of those crazy one and done years, you know, where no one can figure out his style of offense until the next year, and then he's completely figured out and he's useless. But this year, I'm hoping that's that one year, you know, where he pays dividends. You know, I contacted his agent. He's feeling loose, no injuries. He's feeling good, so that's great. That's a great thing. Philip Rivers, solid veteran, solid veteran. Can't get, can't go wrong with Philip Rivers, you know. And he's got awesome tools there. Also, you got Keenan now. You got Austin now. Melvin Gordon might be out for this season. But you know, you know, sometimes you got, you got, you got to wait for that money. You know, you know. I mean, I, it's hard to make a living. You know, so you got to make that money. You know. <laughs> but anyways, QBs aren't really the priority for my team. Let's move on. So then we move to our running backs. Now again, I did not get who I wanted for running back this year because I'm stupid nats. I swear to gosh that this stupid apartment. Has gnats galore. What kind of apartment are you bringing me to to do this interview? You know, there are gnats everywhere here. Every time I kill three, six more show up. It's like a friggin' hydra in here. Get it together. So anyways, my running backs, I did not get who I wanted. 
Now, usually, I make my usual 50 phone calls to Alvin Cameron's family to see how he's doing. Well, guess what? They blocked my phone number this year. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure they blocked me from getting him on my fancy team. So I had to go a different route this year. So this year, I had to really dig deep into my research, and I found two great running backs. And I think they're going to lead me to success. So first off, I'm going to show you Damian Williams. You know Damian Williams, right? He was on the Kansas City Chiefs last year, formerly a Dolphin. Go Dolphins. And that's another thing real quick. Can I, just, can I just barge in one more time? This jersey is a Ryan Tannehill jersey. You know when I got this jersey? I got it for Christmas. You know who's no longer playing for the Miami Dolphins? You or you, do any of you know? Ryan Tannehill, that's right. He's no longer with the Dolphins. But guess what? I got a jersey of Ryan Tannehill for Christmas. And I'm going to wear this thing. It breaks my heart. I'm sorry. Anyways, so Damian Williams is a terrific running back. And he really shined at the end of last season. So I'm expecting him to double down on that and be an amazing running back this year. Number two, Josh Jacobs. Josh Jacobs, that's his name. Yeah, uh... Uh, he's he's a rookie this year, and I'm thinking I'm thinking he's with the Raiders, and they really don't have another running back. And John Gruden's all about his Gruden grinders, as they say, and I'm expecting him to get all the touches, all the yards. That means points for me. That means victory for me. You know it. I know it. Let's go. So then we move to our bench running backs right now, and that's where it gets a little trickier because I wanted to get some Dolphins repping on my team. So, as I did last year, I drafted Kenyon Drake. And Kenyon Drake is a phenomenal playmaker. Absolutely phenomenal. But he's a little hurt right now. A little hurt. So, for contingency's sake, you like that word, contingency? <laughs> for contingency's sake, I signed Kalen Balazs to my team too. The other Dolphins running back. He was terrific last year as well. Didn't get enough time to shine last year. But he is terrific as well. That's why I got both of them. And whichever one starts like shining, overshine, outshot, what the word is, outshining that word, the other one, then I drop the other one. I'll keep the other one. And the other one will lead me to the Nats are back again. Deal with it. Anyways, whichever one doesn't perform well, I'll drop them and I'll keep the other. Plain and simple. And then, since Melvin Gordon is out this season probably, most likely, we do not know yet. I decided to draft Austin Eckler because Austin Eckler is a terrific running back that did really well when Melvin Gordon was hurt. So I think if he's the starting running back for the Los Angeles Chargers, they might win some games. And with Phil Rivers, he's going to catch some passes too. You better believe that. My throat hurts. This hurts. No water? You guys don't have water here? No water at all? What kind of, what kind of program are you run here? I'm trying to give my tips and tricks to the world, and you're, you're just not giving me water? My throat hurts. It hurts. <coughs> it's a, a crying shame. Crying shame. Let's go ahead and skip forward to our kicker real quick. Just get it out of the way. Adam Vinatieri. 46 year old has always been consistent. I drafted him two years in a row because of it. Lead me to success, Vinny. Lead me to success. Then we got Dolphins D here. Now, okay. So here's 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 my thought process. Defense special teams are defense special teams, plain and simple. You could draft any of them to start the season, and you don't know if they're gonna be good or not. So you draft them, you see if they're good, and if they're not. You drop them, plain and simple. Now, to the workhorses of my team. The backbone of this establishment, the wide receivers. So first off, we drafted terrifically on wide receivers. Since we couldn't get our number one running backs, we had to go wide receivers first this year, which is totally fine because I got two of the best wide receivers in the game today. And that is DeAndre Hopkins and Michael Thomas. 
Now you you try to name some more better wide receivers than those two right there. You might name Julio Jones. I don't think he's above them. You might name it OBJ. I don't think he's above them. You might name any other person. I don't hear a name that's bigger than those two. Maybe, maybe Devontae Adams. But you know what? When you speak consistency at the position, you speak DeAndre Hopkins. That's why he's on my team. And then, because of AJ Green's injury in the Cincy Bengals team, we decided, oh, who, who is the second wide receiver there? Who, who is the wide receiver that was stellar last year when AJ Green was hurt as well? It's Tyler Boyd. So Tyler Boyd's my flex right now because I'm for certain. He's going to get me at least 20 points a week, maybe even 50. I'm not sure. His his ceiling is through the roof. And then for tight ends, oh, I felt proud of this. I felt, oh, I drafted well for tight ends. You had to get one of the top five tight ends. If you did not, you might as well have not even fielded the position because they're all garbage after that. No offense to all the tight ends out there. I'm sure you're amazing people and you make millions of dollars. But there's only five or six out there that are actually worth your money on your fantasy football team. So this year, I got two of them. That's right, I got two of the top ones. I got, if I can read it right, George Kittle. I call him Skittle Kill. <laughs> you know, it's a clever nickname I made up for him. Skittle Kittle. <laughs> I got George Kittle as my number one tight end. And I got Delaney Walker because Delaney Walker's back. He's old. He's old. But he is so reliable. And he is going to be a great asset to the team when George Kittle's on a bye week. I guarantee it. And then that's pretty much the team. I, I did leave out. I did leave out. And this is, my, this is on me. When I was speaking of wide receivers, I did leave out my two on my bench. But I shouldn't have overpassed them because they're honestly just as good as some of my other guys. So I got Kenny Galladay because Kenny Galladay is going to be the Lions' number one wide receiver this year. I guarantee it. And then also, I got Adam Humphreys. Adam freaking Humphreys. Now, he was stellar for the Bucks last year. And as a slot receiver for the for the Tennessee Titans, he is going to be a standout for that team. I guarantee it. But anyways, that is my team. I guarantee if you follow these steps to building a team, you might just win your fancy football league for the first time ever. But hey, what do I know? I've only won my league once and should have won it two other times, but didn't because both times, every single year it seems, I get colluded out of the main attraction, the main event, the championship. I get colluded out all the time, and it's because, it's because they all think that I'm a threat. Well, guess what? I am, and I'm coming for all of y'all. I'm getting my baby back because my baby. <laughs> Sorry that my voice got a squeak because I'm, I'm so emotional right now. <laughs> I miss my baby. But other than that, try to have fun with your league this year because I think fantasy football is a great thing and it brings people together to hate others. Are we done here? Are we done? Because you didn't give me water. I, my throat is dying. You didn't give me any water. No water here. You got gnats flying around everywhere. My mustache fell off mid-video. Mid-video. And you all think that this is, this is okay? This is a travesty. I'm missing my trophy, my baby. And you're all over here thinking this is fine. This is this is just, I just got bit by a gnat. Are you all happy? We are done here. We are done. This is an outrage.